Hi everyone, just wanted to quickly share an interesting radiograph that came across my desk today. So what you're seeing is a panoramic radiograph of a 30-year-old, 36-year-old patient with impacted third molars. Uh, perhaps, you know, it's not every day that you see all three impacted third molars and the, uh, the extent of impaction and location or angulation of the impaction uh, of this particular case it's not always common so I want you to see this one obviously we're seeing these three impacted third molars but if you look carefully the angulation at which these have been impacted are different from one another let's look at let's start out with tooth number one with number one um, where is the direction of the roots or where are the roots if you can see it whereas if you look to number 16 we can see that the crown is facing distally and we can roughly make out the roots of number 16 which in fact is superimposed with the roots of number 15 right whereas look over here the, we see large amorphous or shape of a crown However, we don't see the roots. So what could be the po what are some possibilities? Right? Let's think of three possibilities. Probably you could come up with more. One possibility and probably most likely possibility explanation for this appearance is you have roots that are either coming out of the screen or going into the screen such that crown is most likely facing buccally. In that case, just the radio density of the crown alone may be masking the appearances of the roots. And that may be the reason why we're seeing that. Uh, if upon careful look, examination, you may see this opaque entity that's kind of coming out of the border of this crown, right? So that could potentially be an apex or a portion of the root of this tooth number one. Um, what about some other possibilities? This may end up being, um, if you think it's an odontoma, I could certainly accept that as well as a, as a differential diagnosis. Okay, so that's, that's great. Now uh, we briefly discussed number 16. Now let's look at number 17. Obviously, um, full bony impacted and uh, demonstrates a horizontal angulation almost <laughs> maybe not even horizontal it's almost uh, halfway upside down at this point inverted just because the apex of the root is uh, along the anterior border of the ramus but I thought this is interesting that we don't again normal see, normally see this type of uh, angulation it's either impacted um, in a position where, where it would normally erupt or we see horizontal impaction of third molar but in this case it's uh, halfway inverted so I thought that was pretty interesting and we can continue to follow the mandibular canal and its close approximation to the crown of number 17 okay number 32 is missing is there anything else you want to point out or anything that interest is of interest to you I mentioned this one a um, couple days ago I believe last week but what do you think about this maxillary sinus remember those different uh, the thought process the questions that I asked to myself in order to determine what this is first clue or first question you should ask is whether the patient is symptomatic or asymptomatic and also whether this border of opacity dome-shaped opacity demonstrates a corticated outline or not uh, what's the overall density of this lesion is it bony does it demonstrate a bony density or soft tissue density those are all uh, questions some of the questions you should be asking yourself Obviously, I want to evaluate the PDL and lamina dura of uh, adjacent teeth. So, um, you should be able to answer this question by now based on the prior radio, uh, video that I posted a couple days ago.
nevertheless you should certainly not miss this okay should be able to recognize that uh, and at this point you should be able to answer what it is as well but that's it for me pretty interesting panoramic radiograph uh, some of you may have said that that looks interesting I certainly agree with you as well uh, lemon PDL space is seen and just in the apical area inferior to this root APCs we see kind of localized areas of uh, opaque entity okay well that's it for me I'm going to um, finish the video for now and until next time take care and if you have any questions feel free to leave questions in the comment section below uh, for any other videos that you s uh, that I make okay so feel free to reach out to me via email or uh, in the comment section below if you want to know my email address you can click the faculty page link down below in the description and you should be able to find out my email address well thank you again and I'll see you next time